Hey guys, welcome back to the another video of microservices. We are learning microservices through real time project. So till now we have completed a couple of things. If you haven't uh, watched all those videos, I have this playlist. Okay, just go to my channel. You will find this videos under it. So we have completed two videos till now. And whatever the videos we will cover in future, I will attach here. Okay, so now one thing we have this last comment from uh, in last video that is shockwave commented here that uh, this convention which we are using in a controller is pretty confusing so i have changed the convention so before moving to the project i have one request to you guys please do comment it because if you comment something if you don't like the video okay <laughs> so just that comment also yeah but do not do that <laughs> so just comment it down because it helped the google algorithm or uh, youtube algorithm to analyze that you are watching this video okay yeah so come back what changes i have done here previously we are using here a person so i just created a api and as a data i have set a person data and as a list previously we are using only list or person list for saving person save now i think this is a making sense and uh, more readable my application is already up and running what i want to do i need to make a request and you can see here i am getting a response right so now what is the today's video agenda is i want to convert or like some few of you are saying like bro we not using this uh, like uh, i want to learn response entity and request entity right so we learn in this project only so today the my agenda is we will implement exception handling and uh, that is uh, uh, request and uh, uh, exception handling and response and request entity okay so what i need to do that i need a uh, first three steps that is for handling my custom exception and after that i will implement my request and response entity in this video only so first step of making all those things that is uh, uh, handling custom exception create my class that will be extend my runtime create a error class it will show a error to making that i need three classes so i will create a different package here so i need this class and package i will say exception okay and i will create a resource not found okay and i will annotate it is as response because i want to be map this class to my particular uh, status code so i will say value equals to uh, http status dot not found so you will say not found great now here what i need to do what i tell you that is extend uh, runtime exception as you saw we are always do runtime because it is a good programming practice to do this right and i need a serializable because uh, it will part of connection and i will say a resource okay and inside it i need one more thing that is uh, my string message and i will give this message to runtime exception how you, i will give this super because if in constructor this is a basic rule of java either this will come or super will come and i will use a super that is first line right and why i'm using this because if any error came which is a type of resource not found i will use a default constructor of my runtime exception class which will expecting one argument as you can see here okay and by default jvm will use this message to print on a console or record dispatcher will use this message to print on a control and how we will use this message to our custom exception handler okay just watch it now this first step i have completed okay now second step i need one error detail class because i don't want this nonsense to be print and i don't want this nonsense to show my client right because if you give all these things like it will always print out like 500 whatever you will give it will always print like 
if you whatever they, like a server is down or whatever like request is not coming it always say internal server error so this is a nonsense i don't want to be print this so what is the next point that is create that some detailed uh, to passing some detail that is error detail okay and array detail inside array detail what i want to do i want to create private string and copy duplicate it private string that is uh, error message and what name i will give it to it that is error code and private and date mm, timestamp whatever the whatever the property you want to pass to your user you can add it here okay no problem in that so why it's showing error yeah mistakes spelling mistake just import it the date you can import okay let me stop this application okay yeah now i want to create a two thing here that is getter setter so go to source generate getter setter okay using all the fields generate and one more thing i want to create a constructor using all these fields so go to the source and say constructor using fields okay if you uh, use lambog you don't need to be do this okay so okay so what we need to create now that is uh, our step 3 uh, global exception handler right so we have discussed this previous also okay so what we do i need a one more class go here and say global exception exception handler or global exception whatever name you want to put here just give here okay now first point what you need to do uh, controller advice okay and what it will do whatever the error came in your controller it will handle and it will throw okay it means it will show to client whatever in the format you want to be so now what do you want to do just say public and uh, now which response you want to return response entity i want to return error detail that is error detail i have class make and uh, resource not found my method name is inside it what i want to do i want to take resource not found class okay and this reference and web request why web request just let, give me the time like few minute i will make you explain each and every line of code do not worry about it okay so i will say here return uh, let me create a object first of error detail okay error uh, detail and that is error new uh, i will say error detail what i am doing okay <laughs> yeah now it got stuck so i will say error what happened to this sts uh okay sometime is doing tantrums okay so do not worry about that anything now what i put here i need to put here that is error message so from where error message will came that i will say get message but give me the message i will let you know each and everything just let me write a code okay uh here error code i need to write so what i will give here here i will give 404 and from where the time stamp will come say date automatically come okay and just import it from java.utils and semicolon do not forget to do this uh return new response entity okay which type of response entity error detail now just pass this your error as an body here and what the response you want to give here response that is not found okay not found and semicolon now one more important thing that is exception handler and inside exception handler i want to pass this class okay and dot class so wherever inside a controller now let me make you the uh, like explain each and everything uh okay suppose 
let me make the changes in a service then i will uh, explain a, each and every point to you from starting to end so instead of returning like this i want to do few change here that is uh, mm, yeah i will say else throw and here i want to pass my lambda expression that is new resource not found okay resource not found inside i want to pass a message that is record not found and a semicolon uh, i think it is okay now so what does it mean when this id record is not available in database just throw this okay else throw the object of this one and when you throw this now let me make you understand suppose you are firing a request from here and you're not having a data of this 13 this is a default method i don't want to be print this uh, message so you fire here it will catch here okay in controller it will come in a controller now if your data is not coming like if your data is not available in your database for particular id it will throw a record now if you have awareness of uh, that is uh, stack okay what is the stack age like whenever my method m1 uh, let me go to the draw and take this if compiler is maintaining a one stack for methods right if my method m1 going to the method m2 so the entry will be here in m2 so while if any error came so from the called method it will check to the caller method so when the error came in service the jvm will grow to the caller method what is the caller method is controller hey bro you have something to handle this request resource not found it will say i do not have but frameworks knows we have implemented something called global exception so whenever any exception come here that is type of resource not found okay this will caught it and i have caught it in a particular method that is resource not found and i am setting this thing here and i want to be return this thing here in a pretty good manner so let me run this application and check uh restart and one more thing i have just attached all these things for you so whenever you are coding you don't need to be worried about it okay either you can copy paste or either you can type whatever you want to write yeah and i if you want i will attach these things uh, in description let me run this application and check whatever the result is coming okay so restart this application okay let me check let me check let me check uh, yeah our application is up and running on 8080 let me now pass this as 30 as you check now uh, what's the record not found right 404 with a timestamp okay so how it is coming request coming to a controller controller say okay pass the here and it will check okay 13 id is not present in a database then throw this error if the error will throw now default exception handler asked to this method okay you have this uh, anything to handle this exception it will so i don't have anything ask my caller so this will go to the controller controller say i don't have anything but this person implement a global exception handler that we have a implement here right and now and now let me say uh, told you from where this message is coming right yeah i told you right i will make you explain from this service you are throwing your uh, resource not found right and here the message is request uh, record not found right and record not found you are passing this message so what is the parent class that is runtime exception as you can uh, check here resource not found and my parent class is random exception and whatever the constructor you have message right message come here and i am giving this message here so in here uh, global exception i am taking that particular message got it and this is my request 
and this is new date and like this only if you want to add one more thing like method not supported or exception you can add uh, by creating uh, methods here okay so how this communication would happen like uh, uh, let me make you explain here so if you want to take a re reference i have attached all the things here okay so come down so this is your client okay and this is your resource so whenever you are trying to communicate right so it will add over network and over network we are using http right so this is how we are having response entity like what response entity and request entity which represent http request in terms of body and headers nothing complicated very simple here yeah uh, next thing we i think i have uh, not done here yeah that is great i have forgot to done that so i have told you we will do the same thing in uh, request and response right so i think i forgot that so let me do this assign this somewhere so i will say uh, what is returning okay person object so i will say person give me the person okay and here i will say return person it is a two minute job okay just give me two minutes i forgot that i think i have ended this okay so i need to be take this as an uh, person person okay cool now i need to make one change that is return and here what you need to the response entity what type of response entity that is person and what you want to return here as we are returning same thing in my uh, controller uh, okay response entity what type of person type of response entity and here what is the body you have that is person and what is the status code you have that is a status and uh, you will say okay now start this application okay so as this we are doing here we will do in in all the controllers okay so i will do for this you will try for rest one. if you have any problem you can ask me i will do in front of you so let me give an accurate value that is my value is coming right yeah and you can check here the response code is coming okay right yeah and if i say the 14 it will throw error custom exception handler so yeah for this we are ending this video and you will see some of the concept in the next video so till then take care bye bye and do not forget to comment okay